He's wearing the collar. Feel good. He's oh yeah. Hey you guys, what's up? It's stuck to feel good. Yeah, sorry, I got cut up in the moment there. It was a good song. I'm glad I chose that as my gamer tag. Good song, good song. But anyways, I'm bringing to you guys a. Uh, I was gonna say live commentary. This isn't live commentary. I'm gonna bring to you a commentary. This is a uh, search and destroy Black Ops Stadium using the Famous After Patch. Allegedly, it's supposed to be really bad, but uh, now, you know, I still think uh, I put up a pretty good score, even though it's supposed to be patched. I don't really notice much of a difference, but you'll see a bit of a clip later on here that'll kind of show just kind of like how it's a little bit patched, a little bit like especially for distance. Distance-wise, it's a little bit worse, but like just because of the recoil and stuff. But yeah. Anyways. <coughs> So, uh, what's new? Oh yeah, that's right, there's the survival mode trailer coming out, that actually just came out, from Modern Warfare 3. It looks pretty damn epic, it looks a lot like Horde mode, I've been hearing now from Gears, I actually haven't played Gears. I've seen Horde mode a couple times, but I don't really know what Horde mode is all about, but I guess it's uh, similar to survival mode. But, uh, everybody... Like, there was, like, a big controversy over it, because, uh, it showed a guy going into Last Stand, and, uh, people were like, oh my god, Last Stand is back! But, uh, it's actually been confirmed that Last Stand is not back in multiplayer. It, it'll actually only be in Spec Ops, which is good for, you know, everybody, I think, in general, except for those people that actually use Last Stand. By the way, if you do, you should go just go kill yourself right now. I'm sorry, there's just no room for you here. Just only people with skill here. Now here's uh, that part where I was trying to shoot long distance, but the damn recoil was just too much, I think. But mind you, I wasn't really firing bursts all that much. Like I tried to fire in bursts, but yeah, it didn't really work. So the kill streaks I'm using are uh, what are they? They're uh, three, which would be spy plane, uh, four counter spy plane, and five napalm. Because uh, those are really the only good kill streaks for search and destroy, you know, unless you're just a beast at it. Obviously, like me, no. <laughs> I'm okay at search. Uh, this game, I went 9 and 4 just in. Oh, spoiler alert, uh, but nah, whatever. You guys were going to find out at the end, and I, I don't think it was really that big of a surprise. Like, like, oh, I can't wait to see what the score is, you know, like, you know. But, yeah, so I go 9 and 4, which is, you know, a, a decent gameplay, I, I would say I guess. <laughs> like I, I was kind of hoping to upload a better one but uh, I was kind of impatient. I just I wanted to get out a commentary as fast as I could just because I, I had the urge to because actually um, one of my friends he just got a capture card. It was a Roxio capture card, game capture, and he just uploaded his and he kind of inspired me to do another one. Uh, I haven't actually done one in forever mainly because it just takes so long for me. Just uh, I use a really you know, a really long tactic. I, I actually don't even have a capture card in a... I, I just use theater mode and I just upload 30 second segments and just freaking ticks forever, man. So so I guess my uh, comment question or... comment question of the day, you know. But, uh, oh yeah, lag. <laughs> that was... that's a strange lag. Just out of nowhere. But anyways, uh, boom, get the spy plane. Call that in. But anyways, uh... What are your kill streaks for search and destroy? I actually I use the eh, use use of course I can't speak freaking English, but uh, I use the uh, three four five kill streaks on pretty much all the time. Just I don't like going for high kill streaks because then I get stressed out and it makes me want to camp for them and try hard for them. And just I kind of like enjoying myself, you know. Just oh yeah, heard somebody there, but uh, couldn't find anybody for a while. I, I was looking, I could hear them on my turtle beaches. I got actually the cheapest version of Turtle Beaches, and yet they're actually still pretty good. They're uh, Turtle Beach XLCs. You can get them for like 40 bucks at uh, Walmart. And watch fail. Damn it! Ran out of bullets. Should have had extended mags on. Hey, I, I actually don't use extended mags all that much. I, I don't know why. I, I probably should more, but mainly because I, I really like silencer. I have silencer on all my guns. Uh, well, pretty much, except for the G11, who's freaking can't have a silencer because no, you have to have stupid bad sights like variable zoom and that other crappy ass one. Like it's it's okay, but I mean like I, I wouldn't use it if I really had the choice. But uh, yeah, here we go. Get my napalm. Uh, I don't end up getting any kills with it, which kind of sucks. And 
Oh, headshot. You get, you get domed right in the face. So, uh, I'm just gonna spend these last, uh, what, minute, minute and a half here, just, uh, talking about, um, uh, my friend's just starting out. He, uh, just got a capture card, like I said earlier in this commentary, and, uh, he's just starting out trying to get some fans and sub subs, and he's actually really good at COD. He actually, uh, he, uh, had two aces in a row with a SPAS-12 on Search and Destroy and Modern Warfare 2. That's pretty damn fucking impressive, if I do say so myself. That was pretty sweet, but, uh, yeah, just go check him out. I'll put a link to his channel or the video in the description, and, uh, see you guys later. Peace out.